It's a brand new day, the sun is shining, everybody's happy. It's the perfect day to get out there and do whatever it is that you love. What do I love? Well, I'm glad you asked. Silver Steve's Clocks. Experts agreed, it has what you need. As long as all you need is to tell time. Oh, hold on one second. Hello? 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 What do you mean the clock people said no on the brand deal? I already did it! It went great! You can't do this to me, I really need the money. Look, if that's the way you want to be, then we're through! Stupid clock! As I was just saying a few minutes ago, one of my all-time favorite things to do is to save money. So I went to the thrift store and got a few games for you guys. I think it's gonna be a whole lot of fun. Let's go ahead and get started. Up first, I found a game called Arthur's Absolutely Fun Day for the Game Boy Color. As a kid who grew up without cable, I actually really liked Arthur and I watched it all the time. There wasn't really a whole lot of other options. But this show will always have a really special place in my heart. Heck, I still remember the entire theme song by heart. And I say, hey, what a wonderful kind of day where you can learn to work and play and get along with each other. I could definitely continue with that, but I guess I'll spare you guys this time. I can't imagine that an Arthur game for the Game Boy Color would be very good, but hey, as the song says, you gotta listen to your heart, listen to the beats. <laughs> Let's play it. All right, Arthur's absolutely fun day, here we go. Well, for starters, it's pretty ugly. I'm not so sure about this puke green background here. And looking at Arthur on this roller coaster, I think he's seen better days. Although he still looks better than he does in the books. Ugh. And wait, what's that? Music by Tommy Tallarico. I know that guy. He's the guy from the Electric Playground. Tommy, you were dead wrong about the Nintendo DS. It's the second best selling console of all time right under the PS2. And where did the PSP end up? Oh, wow. Eight? That's actually not that bad. We'll call it a draw this time, Tommy. But I'm watching you. We start off on this little map of Elwood City. It looks like we can select different games from here by clicking on different buildings and areas, so let's just start with Arthur's house. It looks like a little basketball minigame. Easy enough, I'm sure. Wow, Arthur's got quite the arm for an eight-year-old. Let's just step back a bit further and see how that goes. Steph Curry! Dang, are you kidding me? Just look at that strength! Arthur's a beefcake confirmed. I eventually got the hang of it. It wasn't too hard. And every time Arthur makes a shot, he gets real happy. After you make 10 shots, you get a star on this Wonder World free pass voucher. It looks like we need 16 stars, and if we get all of them, I guess we win the game or something. So let's check out the next game. I don't get it. Now we're delivering newspapers. Arthur's putting that beefy arm to good use. And just look at these curves on his throws. Forget basketball, I think Arthur's got a future in baseball. All right, another star in the books. Determined to live up to the name of the game and have the absolute most fun day ever to be had, Arthur wants to go everywhere. He wants to go to the library, he wants to visit his grandma, he wants to see the Taj Mahal, Hyrule Field, the final boss of Black Temple, and even the fiery pit of hell. If it exists, Arthur wants to go there. Eventually, I ran out of games to play, but I still needed a lot more stars to fill up my pass. It was at this point that I realized it doesn't even matter which game you do. You can do the same game over and over and get a star for it each time. So, I just played air hockey with Buster a whole lot because it's the only game that is even almost equivalent to fun. And in the process, I even mastered my special signature shot, the glitchy corner shot. I'm telling you, it's legit. And we finally got our voucher filled! Why a theme park would give free tickets to kids for playing air hockey at an unaffiliated arcade and making a few hoops on their household basketball goal, I have no idea! But hey, I'm not complaining! But I will complain about this theme park! It sucks. The games range from incredibly easy to practically impossible. For example, I mastered this skee ball game on my second shot and then got the highest score possible on every following shot. And the only reason I didn't get a perfect score on the first shot was because it didn't show me what I was aiming at. And despite it looking fairly simple, I could not hit anything on this knock the clown into the water game. I take back what I said about Arthur playing baseball because this is a pretty pathetic display. 
Okay, the game's not that great, but the real problem here is Arthur. Why does he have to insert himself in everyone's lives? Don't you think that's a bit arrogant? Maybe the brain wanted to sort these books by himself. Maybe Francine would like to take a shot every once in a while. And maybe, just maybe, Buster would like to win a freaking air hockey game. Oh, but no, the game's called Arthur's Absolutely Fun Day. I'd hate to rain on Arthur's parade. Hey, everybody, Arthur's having fun. Good for Arthur, right? Or a freaking jerk. Oh, no. Up next, we have what's sure to be a hit, 101 Puppy Pets, the virtual pet game. At the very least, this dog looks like he's having some fun. Yeah, I've got a bone. Life is good. Again, this game is called 101 Puppy Pets, but I feel compelled to mention that there are definitely not 101 different types of puppies. In fact, there's only nine. Um, I'm sorry, game, but you're off by approximately 92 puppy pets. But hey, at least you can change their fur color. Anywhere from purple to green to white or even slightly darker white. There's so many possibilities, I can barely believe it. And if you follow your dreams, kids, maybe one one day even you can have a 101 puppy pet of your very own. Although, I don't really know why you would want one. As some of you may know, I have a puppy, Azura, named after the Daedric Prince Azura in the Elder Scrolls. So I'm just gonna recreate her. It's a perfect resemblance. Alright, let's play! It looks like we can make her do tricks and... Oh, a new dog show has started. That was fast! Well, I guess we might as well enter! I'm so proud. It's time for a celebration. That was fun. We've literally been playing for less than 30 seconds and we already won first place in a competition. And not only did I get money for winning the beauty contest, I also instantly got 56 more dollars after the contest for no reason at all. I guess we should spend some of this. How about a blue hat? That's definitely a necessity. And this painting. Beautiful. We're certainly living the good life now. Man, this game isn't just easy, it's way too easy. What's the point of this? There's not even anything to do. It's like Nintendogs, but all the fun stuff taken out. You can bring your puppy places, but all you can do is sit and watch. There's a couple games you can play, but the actual player input is as simple as clicking your mouse one time. I'd tell you what I'm thinking, but this little dog face says it better than I ever could. Please kill me. And even worse, she isn't even winning the beauty contest anymore. What happened? She also stopped moving. I guess not feeding or watering her would do that. Stop being dead, puppy. Stop. Bad dog. Bad, bad, bad. Well, Azura may be a failure, but personally, I'm feeling pretty good about myself, and I think this video is going well so far. So, with the money I saved on these games, I bought myself some awards. Thank you! Thank you so much! Yes! 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 I got a third place medal because I know I'm not the best YouTube channel, but ugh, I'm at least the third best. Obviously. Oh, hey guys, I'm just over here enjoying my all-time favorite drink, tap water. One second, I don't want this to go to waste. And speaking of not being wasteful, on the last Goodwill Games video, we played a game with a character called Mia. Well, I bought two of those games, and I'd hate to waste the four dollars I spent on this, so we're playing this one now. It's Mia's Big Adventure Collection. Just in time. Math. Are you ready to learn? I've never been more ready for anything my, in my whole life. Let's play. Ah, what a nice and peaceful night it is here in Miaville. The stars and the moon are out. The bugs are chirping in. Fire! Fire! Oh God, why? Why did this always happen to me? Fire! Oh no, there's a fire. Better go inside this tree that's like two feet from the flames. Whew, safe. <laughs> no. Oh, you cut your finger. I'm already so emotionally invested in this. I've only played two of these games so far, and me is already almost drowned and almost burned to death. These games are terrifying. And don't even get me started on Mia's grandma. <laughs> 
Golly, forget the fire! I'm running from her! What a disaster. If only we could go back in time and prevent the fire. Good idea. Nothing's impossible. Uh, that's not true. Poor old Uncle Samuel once had a plan to make a machine that could travel through time. Wow, that's great! Who are you again? So without requesting any actual proof, much less mentioning it to their parents at all, Mia and whoever this guy is head off to see old Uncle What's-His-Face to ask about the time machine. I have a really good feeling about this. A journey with such vague, unclear beginnings is sure to be successful and probably definitely won't end up in a missing children's case on top of a burned down house. To heck with precautions, let's do this! I knew it was here somewhere. <laughs> I don't like this game. It's scary. <laughs> Uncle Crazy Squirrel Guy gives the kids the plans for the time machine, but they're pretty complicated. Luckily, this kid has glasses, which means he can figure it out. Don't worry about it, he's smart. I mean, he's got glasses. But they're missing four pieces, so it's Mia's job to go find them. The game, just like last time, is pretty simple. You walk around, look for things to click on, and Mia B's kinda dumb. Eventually, we found some sleeping ants. Don't wake them up. They're gonna be real mad, Mia. Well, you gone and done it. I think we should probably go, though, because I've seen ants eating mice before. <laughs> Just saying. It was, it was a little disturbing, Mia. Uh, the mouse died. Okay, it died. I was gonna show that in the video, but it's too gruesome. I can't. Apparently, the ants can help us build one of the pieces we need with this machine they made. We just need to answer some math problems. No sweat. All right, zero plus six. Well, that's obviously six. Two plus four, also six. Seven minus one? Six. Six. I knew it! Mia, we gotta get out of here quick! They're devil ants, Mia! Devil ants! Just grab the thing and get out! There's really not much else going on here. You walk around and eventually you find some kind of quiz meant to test your math skills. You complete it and you get a piece for the time machine. It's all a little too convenient if you ask me. Hello, Mia. What can I do for you? Oh, hey there, Mr. Mole. Do you happen to have a magic wand thingy laying around? You do? Well, that's great! And you say all I have to do is answer some simple math questions in order to get it? Wow, except for my house burning down and constantly almost dying, life sure is easy! I look like an orange. Well done! Yes! Also, I forgot to mention this earlier, but... Long live the poop spider! Peace to you, my friend. All right, fast forward a bit and we're on the last quiz. All we have to do is get these questions right and we can make the time machine. We got this. Click on the number that comes right after 18. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Click ten, on one. the number that is made up of two identical digits. 10 plus 10 is 9 digits. and 1 and 8 and 2. If you carry the 4, divided Click by 3. on the smallest number. Come on, come on. Come on. Click on the number that is between 17 right. One and two 19. and eight. Four plus seven, two. Seventy-two. Right Ninety-three. Twenty-five. Come on. Click on the number. Come on. Right Twenty-five. Well done. All right. We did it! We've got all the pieces and the time machine is complete! And if a little mouse kid with glasses can build it, I know it's gotta be safe! Hey! It worked! I don't have disc two. This is over. We're done. It's a cliffhanger. It's up to interpretation. What do you think happened to Mia? Did she fly off into space and save the day and save her house? Or did she just rip up in space time to, to be and duh and dead? Probably that one. I'm gonna go with that one. Let me know what you think happened to her in the comments. Bye bye! Hello? 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 Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching my video. I really appreciate it. If you want to see more videos, then why not subscribe? If you enjoyed this video, consider liking and sharing and favoriting and all that stuff. It really appreci- I, it really appreciates me. That didn't make any sense. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and all that stuff in the links. 
in the description below. Thanks to Smooth McGroove for the awesome Super Mario World Overworld theme. Check that out also in the link in the description below. All right, I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye. You got to listen to your heart, listen to the beat, listen to the rhythm, the rhythm of the street. Open up your eyes, open up your ears, get together and make things better by working together. Should I, should I keep going? No. It's a simple message, no. and it comes from the heart, Austin. or believe in yourself. Austin. But that's the place to start, Todd and I say hey. The neighbors are calling the police. <laughs>